lesson, we introduce volume. Volume is a three-dimensional measure. Volume is the space taken up by a three-dimensional object. We measure volume when we want to answer questions like how many sugar cubes would it take to fill a box, how much air is in a room, or how much water will it take to fill a pool. In order to measure volume, we must compare our object to a known unit of volume, then determine how many units, including partial units, it would take to completely fill the object. Some standard units of volume are cubic inches. One cubic inch is a cube that has one inch long sides. Cubic feet, one cubic foot is a cube that has one foot long sides. And cubic centimeters, one cubic centimeter is a cube that has one centimeter long sides. Once we decide on the unit of volume that we will use, we need to determine how many times larger our object's volume is than the unit volume. More simply, we count how many of the units it takes to completely fill our object. Let's look at a couple of questions. For part A, we are asked to create an object that has a volume of 24 cubic centimeters using centimeter cubes. So one cube has a volume of one cubic centimeter, and therefore to form a solid that has a volume of 24 cubic centimeters, we must form a solid using 24 cubes. And let's build our solid in steps. Let's first use 12 cubes to make a solid that has a volume of 12 cubic centimeters as shown here. Notice how we have three rows of four cubes, giving us a total volume of 12 cubic centimeters. So if we place another 12 cubes on top of these 12 cubes, we would have this solid here that does give us a volume of 24 cubic centimeters. The first layer of cubes has a volume of 12 cubic centimeters, and so does the second layer, giving us a total volume of 24 cubic centimeters. In part B, we were asked to determine the volume of the toy staircase shown by imagining that it is filled with centimeter cubes. So looking at the figure, notice how this length is one centimeter and so is this length. This length is given in meters. We need to write this length in centimeters in order to find the volume in centimeter cubes or cubic centimeters. And because one meter is equal to 100 centimeters, we'll label this length 100 centimeters. And now to determine the volume, let's first find the volume of one row of cubes, this row here, and then we'll determine the total volume. And then we'll determine the total volume. Well, because this length is 100 centimeters, and we are trying to determine how many cubic centimeters will fit in this row, there would have to be 100 cubic centimeters in this row, giving a volume of 100 cubic centimeters for each row. And notice how there are a total of one, two, three, four, five, six rows, all with a length of 100 centimeters to form the staircase. And therefore the total volume is equal to six times 100 cubic centimeters, which is equal to 600 cubic centimeters. Again, each row contains 100 cubic centimeters, giving a volume of 100 cubic centimeters, and there are six rows giving a total volume of 600 cubic centimeters. I hope you found this helpful.